What is We NATO all about? Actually, We NATO is a platform in addition to the existing NATO.international uh, website, which is really aiming on a conversation uh, with new audiences. We are going away from the traditional NATO audiences to audiences which I would call or consider netizens, people who uh, who deal quite a lot with the web and uh, who actually demand some kind of participation uh, in institutions like governments, like NATO, like UN, whatsoever. So this new platform will actually be uh, a new approach for NATO itself uh, and we consider this as a, something like conversational communication. So what would you say are the major challenges for this project? I think for NATO there are most likely two huge challenges. The first one is uh, NATO's identity. This actually turned out as a result of the interview I did with Stephanie Barbs last year in summer where we were talking about uh, what NATO actually stands for. NATO was built within the Cold War and since the Berlin Wall fell, uh, this issue is almost gone. And since then, uh, NATO is, is searching for some kind of new identity and hasn't been very clear about it. Uh, as I consider globalization and security, what they claim to be as their uh, core values, it's, it's a very broad and very, very unspecific kind of identity. And, and I think that uh, using these Web 2.0 tools, which we are now going to do with the WeNATO platform, will have an impact on their identity. And so if you don't know really who you are, what you stand for, uh, sooner or later you're going to be somehow in trouble. Uh, the second thing is that, I mean, Web 2.0 is in everybody's institutions on the agenda. Everybody wants to go uh, online and have conversations with, with the netizens out there, uh, want to be part of this, this new network which really raised up the last couple of years. Uh, the big thing is using these tools is one thing, but if the institution itself and its structure is not ready for it, then there will be uh, some disruptive moments like, for example, Usually there are only 10, 12 people who can give or who are allowed to give NATO a voice outside the NATO's uh, borders. All of a sudden when we ask them that, you know, everybody more or less can blog on this platform, there is this, this kind of conflict appearing that NATO has actually so many faces and only a few are allowed uh, to speak out in public. This doesn't go along with uh, the idea of Web 2.0. So there will be challenges uh, in a way that NATO itself in its organizational structure is not ready yet for this what Web 2.0 actually is asking from an institution. So what kind of formats will we see on this platform? Uh, the formats, let's put it this way, key of the platform will will be live streams. So uh, we bring together uh, NATO senior staff with people, visionaries uh, from the web and they talk on specific topics. We will live stream them and people out there will have the opportunity to ask questions via chat and Twitter and then the moderator will turn in, you know, and just, you know, point out to whom the question is going. And so uh, we will have these real, real live online events, which is pretty new for NATO. Other formats are, for example, uh, video interviews. I just did one last night with Wendell Wallach. He is uh, an expert on UAVs and he will talk about the smart defense program of the US and also take into consideration what this could mean for NATO. So we will bring in new voices and uh, Wendell at the at the end of uh, his interview, he's clearly asking three questions to NATO. So uh, hopefully uh, we will get some answer from NATO senior staff, 
from, from other people out there on these questions and so start on specific topics, uh, online discussions. We will include polls, so in the uprun to the NATO summit, which will take place in May 2012 in, in Chicago, we will ask questions in, in any kind of field NATO is involved, let it be a women empowerment, let it be uh, reducing of the troops in Afghanistan or whatever is going on or whatever is going to be next in Pakistan. We will frequently come up with these questions and then have polls there and you will also see regular blog posts. And these blog posts not only come from NATO staff but they also come from uh, you know, like activists in Libya or uh, in Egypt or like Harvard professors David Weinberger or Joey Ito from the uh, MIT Media Lab. So this hopefully will be a, a pretty colored crowd and, and start a discussion which NATO has never started before. So we are kind of curious uh, to see what's going on there.